hi I'm just gonna quickly show you how to manage your clusters if you're up until this point where you have your clusters separated all you have to do is manage them so they fit inside this checker pattern box select by element UV toggle button and select polygon now select the first one drag it in second one drag it in and exactly the same way you can drag all your clusters in if you have to change any settings of your cluster just can click that you can scale that up and down rotate that or even move that it's always good idea to select all of these uh, clusters together and then scaling up and down because in that way you can always have a constant pattern or the near perfect resolution see this teapot is not perfect because I didn't spend that much time on it because if it because it is a demo demo only alright from there say you got your clusters inside that checker box now go on tools render UVW template it's a tricky box you just use uh, your desired width and height for your Photoshop resolution whatever resolution you are preferring for editing those uh, pictures I usually go with uh, 2048 usual value is 1024 you can crank that up any number that you want but it's better usually working in the same aspect ratio of width and height now uh, rest of the settings supposed to be the exact same way which are here default value after this render UVW template here it is rendered you just save that you just pick a directory let's say demo one you just like save that as a JPEG and save it best uh, quality larger in size okay done okay now if we go to our directory and demo one there's our clusters inside that checker box now where we go from there okay if we just drag this one inside you can see that we can paint this right now if we want suppose I'm just gonna paint this uh, upper lid like that and the spout like this a bit and then I'm going to save that file save okay save that now let's go back to max close our EVW editor from there just like get outside the EVW editor now select the template uh, material editor and sign a standard material to that now uh, for that image to show up exactly how it's laid out uh, in Photoshop you have to drag a bitmap then you can select demo one all formats let's go demo one there it is open that connect that to your diffuse color now just go to this view render that there it is you can already see if you change the environment setting a bit 
pardon me there you go now if we uh, render that you can see the spout here is also colored a bit and uh, the blue over there now in Photoshop you can do magics like you can just uh, do whatever you want whichever part you want to work on how detail you want to work on and everything but that's a whole new story so you got the basic idea here how to do this uh, from Max and integrate that with Photoshop hope this helps thank you for watching